welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that I'm pretty, or looking at something that I'm pretty excited about. My mobile detailing business that I started this summer. And I'm slowly getting into the ramp of things, getting my setup figured out and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you all my truck, my setup, and the flyers that I have right here. These are all our services, interior, exterior, full detail add-ons, our services, Kings Mobile Detailing, Instagram, they'll follow. And sorry for the mower in the background, my cousin's mowing, so uh, yeah, sorry for that. But let's get right into this video. So it may not look the prettiest, but I'm telling you, it does work. It does work. So first thing I want to show you all is the cones that I set out whenever I'm doing something on the side of the road so a car knows that I'm working so it keeps me safe and then you may ask what this is it's just a garbage can uh, I like to put my garbage in that I'm getting from all the cars or whatever if they leave the excess garbage I can put it in there have a place to put it all there's garbage bag in there and everything so right here this is my uh, 16 gallon six and a half horsepower um, shop bag I love this shop bag and uh, y'all may ask what is this up here it's for the caddy the caddy I have in the truck inside the truck because uh, I didn't want it when I'm driving to get flown away so yeah but that's inside and whenever I get out to a detailing place I put it back on because I like to store my vacuum tools in there or whatever but yeah that's what I like to do with that so got the cones and then you may ask what this is this right here is the key to the operation some of y'all may think oh you need a big pressure washer to do mobile detailing no you don't this is what I use. This is what I use right here. It's the uh, Ryobi Easy Clean. I have a video on this on my YouTube channel, I think, already. And then I just have some sponges in here that I use for the exterior detail. Got my bug sponge. And then, if I can find it, I will show you. This is the foam cannon, the Easy Clean foam cannon. Works amazing. And what do I use in the foam cannon? I use this. Let's see. I can get it out for y'all. I use this Rain-X high foaming car wash. I love this stuff. It works pretty good. It foams a lot too. So that I use. And then this is all my other chemicals that I use for like my tires, my interior. What brand do I use? It's uh, sold at Walmart. Suds Lab. This stuff works actually amazing. And you can buy a kit with the interior foam and some other stuff wheel cleaner but this stuff for is amazing the into the interior cleaner then you got the interior car detailer you got the tire and trim dressing and you got the zero acid wheel cleaner and then y'all may think what this is or may ask what this is this is awesome i don't know where i got this but i had it and i put this little electric uh little pump spray thing I'll show you all you do is flip a switch and she just she squirts it all out it's pretty good craftsman it was like 10 bucks pretty cool and that's what I use for my floor mats that's what I use for all my floor mats and I like that a lot and then right here we got my uh, extension cord and then right here we got my light if I ever work out or am working late working late and then under here under the light in the box take this out oh thing got caught okay take the extension cord off take the lot put it over here and then in here throw that all over there and then in here we got air compressor steamer all the steaming uh attachments that can go with it but yeah this light works amazing if you want to see a review on something like that um yeah i can do a review on that because that is amazing and then back here we got some ryobi batteries and then right in here there's some milwaukee bag let's see in here we got uh my polishing pads that i use 
We got my uh, M12. It's falling down. I got my M12 drill. This is just a just a regular. It's not brushless or anything with the wheel attachment on it. And then in here we got my right angle impact and then an extra battery. I use this impact to do the uh, polishing. Surprisingly, I'm telling you, surprisingly works really well for what I need it for. And yeah, just extra pads. Sorry, I'm trying to put this all back in here without making it fall. But yeah, that's all that stuff in there. Keep that. And then right underneath that is this caddy, which I keep all my interior stuff, my windows, my uh, dusters. What else is in here? My scrub pads from Suds Lab. And then uh, let's see, just some window cleaner, window invisible thing. And then just some. Um, yeah that's really all that's in there and then in here is my uh this is my rims and like wheel wells and tires bucket i use this for the uh for the uh tire go along the tire but it, it is good you also can use this it's soft enough so you can go inside the rim it doesn't have the fastest rpms but uh the torque on that thing is a lot it, it does not bog ever and then it's more in here we got that so you can go in between stuff we got some super cleaner we got some well well brush just a bucket yeah yeah simple stuff simple stuff and then on the other side we got these two things i don't use a normal pressure washing system so whenever i get to a car that i need to do just open this that comes off this opens and then I can throw, throw this in inside that, inside the bucket. It sucks it all up, runs it to the pressure washer, and it runs it right through. It's pretty cool. I love this. This is a simple setup. This isn't with your pressure washer, all the pumps and stuff. It's not the most hot tech, I'm telling you, but it works perfectly for what I need it for. Guys, the car's here. There's not too much of mud and everything, so. But I will run into it sometimes. But and then right here we got my uh, this is a cooler and then it also has a seat and it has some compartments on the side which is pretty cool. I love this thing. I just got it on vacation the other day, so yeah. And then in here or in the bottom we got extra microfiber towels and then I got some foam and just other extras, soaps and interior cleaners in case I run out over there. Cause that's what I normally use and if I run out over there then I can come over here and get my backups with which is like super clean diluted and all that stuff so yeah but on top we got the two drawer system and on the first one we got pressure washer one or pressure washer stuff for the easy clean microfiber towels drying towels and this one we got I don't know why this drills in here but we got our pet hair remover we got our uh, detailing brushes that I use on the interior eh, and then exterior attachments because this just screws off and you can screw in another one we got stuff to get rocks out of tires extra microfiber towels drying towels uh vent cleaners hair removal but yeah so that's gonna do for the bed of the truck and then i do have a few things in the uh cab and but here's just a view of it from up here pretty cool pretty cool so i'm gonna stick this back in here so you don't get like a full how I normally roll around with it. This bucket doesn't fit the best. That's why I've had these little bungee cord things. They just slide in there, hold it down real good. But this is what the setup will normally look like. I'm trying to get it all, get it all toddy for y'all so y'all can see how I normally roll around with it. Uh, but yeah, so we got it right here. This is how I normally roll around with it And then I got my inverter in my barn uh, In there, so it's like a 3500 watts, I think uh, But it just sits in the middle. There's a rim for it. It's pretty small. So that's perfect And then I use the extension cord right there, but I can also I also offer like $10 off if I can use your water and uh, electricity so it makes it easier like if I'm coming to your house to do detailing, then I can do $10 off, use all your stuff. And yeah, saves me, 
saves them a little bit of money so yeah but here's the setup and then if y'all want to go if y'all saw a tool or something that i haven't done a review on uh just comment down below but inside here this is a actually i'm gonna show you all the truck this is a 2000 chevy silverado that my stepside that my dad uh bought brand new in 2000 so i drive this thing now it's gone through some transmissions it's gone through some motors well it's went through one motor like three transmissions but who cares about that but it's still going strong looks good i love this truck and uh inside it's got leather so and back here i keep uh my cloths paper towels down here is like a bucket thing and uh with extra just like microfiber sponges and stuff that i can use and you got bungee cords and we got some easy clean attachments yeah but just pretty cool truck i love this truck and it needs the details just be talking about it but uh yeah so this is probably going to conclude this video but if y'all enjoyed it please like subscribe and comment and hey go follow the instagram definitely go follow but if y'all enjoyed this video like comment subscribe like i said and uh we'll try to be now that it's summer we'll try to get onto a, a more frequent uh schedule of filming but sorry i haven't posted in a long time but i hope y'all enjoyed this video and peace out